Good evening and welcome everybody. Distinguished visitors from home and abroad, members of the board, the representatives of the Kiran Nada Museum of Art, students, faculty and friends of the library. Good evening to you all. I'm Arthur Duff, Head of Library Services at the Lilavati Lalbai Library. Today we are opening the exhibition of Delhi Modern, the architecture of independent India seen through the eyes of Madan Mahata. On behalf of our librarian, Tejaswini Joshi, and her team, I extend a warm welcome to our partners in this event, the Kiran Nada Museum of Art, with whom we are establishing an association that we hope will be of mutual benefit in the future. The Kiran Nada Museum of Art was established in New Delhi in 2010 by the art collector Kiran Nada. KNMA is a non-commercial, not-for-profit organization exemplifying the dynamic relationship between art and culture through its exhibitions, publications, educational and public programs. From the beginning, they have been given equal value to promoting architecture and its role in society. The idea of establishing the KNMA came about as a result of the founders' awareness of the dearth of institutional spaces that could bring visibility to modern and contemporary art and architecture from India and the subcontinent. The exhibition we are opening today is part of their extensive collection of architectural material, and we hope this will be the first of numerous exchanges of exhibitions between the SEPT Exhibition Centre and the Kiran Nada Museum of Art. As you know, it is one of our stated aims to promote the work of SEPT University across India so that the work of the faculty and students can be shared and enjoyed by many. The challenges for architecture in India are enormous, and such sharing can only lead to greater awareness and positive action. As I keep reminding you, the library is the knowledge hub, the very centre and beating heart of our wonderful campus. It's through partnerships of this kind that we hope to extend the role of the library across the country, making it relevant to much wider audiences. Already we're on the move. The exhibitions that we hosted from the Aga Khan Foundation last semester are currently touring other institutions, thanks to the network of links we have established. The Faculty of Planning exhibition on the city of Ahmedabad is soon to leave the campus also. The exhibition you are about to see is based on the work of the celebrated photographer Madan Mahatta, son of Ammar Mahatta, who established their company with a studio on the Bund in Srinagar in 19, uh, 1915. They expanded to multiple locations, and it was Madan who moved to Connaught Circle uh, after independence and where they are still based. He also dramatically changed the nature of the work they did by getting out of the studio. Post-independent India saw a remarkable transformation of Delhi and indeed other parts of India, including our own Ahmedabad, which is going to be the subject of an exhibition curated by Anand Patel in the autumn. Depending on your age, these wonderful images will hold very different meanings. For some of us, they are very familiar. And for the youngsters, they will form a document of history. All valid responses to remarkable records of the architecture of an utterly new and different India that emerged post-independence. Mahatta worked closely with Raj Rewal, Achut Kanvinde, and Habib Rehman, among others, whose work can be seen on show here. The fact that some of these once new buildings have already been knocked down prompts other discussions around heritage and how they need to be valued and understood. Change is the constant, however. As always, the production of such an elegant exhibition can only happen with considerable commitment of time and effort from a great number of people. We are most grateful to Robina Karode, director and chief curator of the KNMA, who so warmly responded to the idea of sharing resources across institutions when we first met and since then has worked so hard to make this exhibition happen. She unfortunately can't be here today. She has also curated this exhibition and with the assistance of Deba Sri Banerjee. From our side, may I thank Kaulav Bhagat, the acting director of the SEPT workshop, and Junid Bai, somewhere, uh, who is fantastic and without whom nothing would be hanging on the wall. Thank you, Junid Bai. Uh, the manager of their dedicated exhibition team who delivered the production of the exhibition on site and with the help of our designer, Harsh Bavsar, who's there somewhere. In addition, all of this has been supported by the campus office team 
who make everything else happen, and coordinated for the library by Pyle Dan. Thanks to all of you for coming and for your continuing support of SEPT University's commitment to building a better world through the agency of our five faculties. The exhibition remains open until the 28th of February. Please come again and bring your friends. And now can I welcome from the Kiran Nader Museum of Art, um, Avjna Bhattacharya and Neha Tiku, who would like to say something on their behalf. Um, thank you, Arthur, uh, for such a wonderful introduction. And um, thanks to everybody for coming uh, this evening uh, for the opening of this exhibition. Uh, as Arthur has uh, very correctly mentioned, that uh, the Kiranada Museum of Art has been uh, dedicated to the collection and introducing that collection to the uh, public. The collection includes art, uh, mainly modern art and contemporary art from the subcontinent. And also we have been trying to create this connection between art uh, um, uh, different cultural extensions and of course uh, architecture is an uh, inherent part of that. So I would uh, just like to share a tiny um, experience of uh, viewing um, Madan Mahata's photographs in uh, one of our exhibitions uh, called Stretch Tables that was held in 2017 uh, which was displayed along with uh, modern masters such as Amir Hussain, uh, Raza, Souza, and uh, uh, that made the viewing, that experience of viewing architecture next to such artistic practices, and it gave a different dimension. Uh, we hope to, and we look forward to such collaborations where uh, uh, this kind of artistic uh, expressions, along with and inside architectural spaces and how architecture makes its way into um, artistic expressions. For example, um, uh, currently we have uh, four exhibitions running at uh, KNMA Sake, uh, uh, one of which uh, consists the works of artist Darina Hashmi and uh, most of her, many, a uh, great number of her prints and works include uh, architectural spaces which uh, replicate or which kind of reflect on floor plans, plans of the houses of her relatives, of her father that she has left behind. And uh, I, we hope that uh, this kind of interactions between uh, uh, architectural spaces, architectural projects and uh, the way artists have appropriated or architects have appropriated these artistic expressions in the days to come. Thank you so much. I would request my colleague Neha to say a few words on the ongoing vision. Thank you, Arthur and, uh, and Abhigna. Thank you so much. Um, First of all, I would just like to say it has been overwhelming to be at SEPT uh, and somebody who works with art collections and writing and research and uh, I also come from dance as well as poetry. So it has been something uh, which inspired me being in SEPT. And I think the focus of bringing uh, a pioneer chronicler of our modernist times like Madan Mahata and his work to a University of Architecture and Planning such as SEPT is, uh, is a historical one because uh, we live in times where disciplinary boundaries don't matter anymore and the, the boundaries are shrinking, disciplines are intermingling and exchanging a lot of ideas with each passing year, we are seeing a lot of exchanges. But somewhere down the line, we had perhaps forgotten those uh, exchanges. And Madan Mahata takes us to a time when, you know, uh, when India had gained independence, and uh, there were exchanges between scientists, architects, doctors, medicine, um, 
artists, poets, writers, filmmakers, where things were happening just on the flux and things were being created and exchanged and there was no um, there's no insecurity of creating masterpieces, but then they did create it. So it was, um, Mahata then takes us, you know, uh, and then his work, when you look at certain buildings like the India International Center and the photographs he has taken, he reminds you of the poetry inherent in the building structures. It is not just, and I'm sure the senior photographers present here, whose uh, immigrants' permission I'm saying these things, will, will tell us that, um, you know, I, I felt that poetic connect when I was going through the library, as well as the uh, Amtabad Mi Gufa by uh, our respected architect, Doshi Saab, and um, uh, the artist. And that is such a beautiful ex you know, example of where art and architecture uh, remains so beautiful and it inspired me to dance perhaps. I mean, as a dancer and talking about architecture is even more important because space. So I, I, I just want to say that the photographs will take you towards that poetic dimension of Mahata, which he was not just working with artists and photographers developing their uh, photographic prints in the, in the dark room, but also uh, recording history, recording an uh, era, an epoch, which defined India and somewhere we are losing it and so there is a necessity to have it enshrined in our memories because we lost the Hall of Nations and slowly we might we will lose many such structures uh, given to a lot of uh, uh, superficial ideas of development. But uh, the idea of photograph then, you know, the archive, as an archive, as a beautiful artist as a, and an archivist. So it remains with us. And uh, with this note, with not much, not saying much, I would welcome you all to see the show. We are very happy to another music and on behalf of Purina Kanuri and Kiranagar, we are very happy to have this collaboration. And uh, not just architecture, we want to develop art where uh, fields are exchanged, you know. And, you know Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. I'm inspired by your inspiration. Thank you. And just it remains now for the pleasure of actually uh, joining each other in entering this exhibition. But before we do that, I'd love to call on, uh, it's a great pleasure and honor that we're in the company of a very distinguished, our own very distinguished photographer. And um, it's a real honor for us to be uh, having the company of uh, Dalwadi Saab. Uh, so thank you indeed for having to be here. Uh, a professional of many years standing. I, he's just told me his age, and I won't tell you because I'm stunned already. <laughs> but what's so extraordinary is that you have without, uh, your, your generous capacity is unlimited. Uh, there are generations of students who have benefited from you. There are uh, uh, lists of clients who benefit from you. So thank you, sir, for your great contribution to the field of photography. So uh, with no further ado, I, with, it would be our great pleasure if you could just preside, uh, if you'd like to say anything, and then we'd like to laugh, and then uh, proceed on into the exhibition. So, uh, I invite you up. Thank you uh, for having such an uh, interesting exhibition to set. Uh, only one thing I would like to say on this. It, it happened that I worked with Mahatta about more than 35 years back. And I had really good uh, time with him because uh, whenever I go there, I will not come back without a cup of tea which all Amdavadis would like to have. <laughs> uh, I, I had a, a special privilege with him that whenever I am in Delhi, uh, I should go him, I should visit him. And uh, it happened. And I am really very happy to see his work here. And thank you very much for, for, for you to have been uh, exhibiting his work. And uh, thank you everyone.